Hello, welcome back. My name's Andrew or Andy, whichever you prefer. And we are now on the weekend, it's Sunday. And as you just saw down there, I wanted to show you that straight away because Christina made that for me quite a while ago. They've been looking after it. The eight ball down there is a doorstop and I think it looks amazing. I absolutely love it, weighs a bit as well. When the house has got a door in it, I guess it's gonna come into its own, but just down there by the bus looks amazing. But before we carry on on Monday, there's one or two things I want to do here. Cork, glorious cork, has so many different uses, many more than I had thought of before I moved out to the Algarve. As you see here, this one attached to an old dead branch. I've got quite a few of them lying around that have all fallen down. Uh, <laughs> bears a striking resemblance to elephant skin from what would I know, but it looks it to me. And as you know, I'm going to be making my very own elephant, full size, no less. And I'm really looking forward to making that. I have been practicing with the welder and hopefully by the time I get started on that, I'll be a lot better at it. But this stuff here could be really good and hopefully it will resemble uh, what an elephant looks like. Who knows? Anyway, I need to start taking this off of here, get it stored. So when I do start, it's going to be uh, to hand. I don't have to scavenge around here. Take some of this off. Well, that one came off pretty easy. Unfortunately, I discovered these and you really don't want to be finding those in a cork tree. Luckily, this is a dead branch, but you can see by the size of my finger there, how big they are. It's those that have been killing the cork trees. So I need to make sure once I've taken that cork off that I remove all of those and try and clear this area up. Not a good sign. Anyway, while I continue doing this, let's carry on with the rendering down in the village. Good morning, Monday morning, and uh, lovely calm day again. At the moment, we do think there's a possibility of us getting some rain, maybe even this afternoon. I'm not sure about that. James just told me a second ago. I knew we were going to get something maybe on Wednesday, um, but I'm not going to let that stop me. If it rains, we'll just come back to it, because I don't think it's going to rain too much anyway. But anyway, I'm going to carry on with this section here, because this is going to be a game changer. See if I can do the bulk of that today. Then I'm going to play around a little bit with this chimney, tidy that up, and I need to block around the back there where it touches this wall because that potentially could let water in there. Now this chimney is not going to be used. We're leaving it here for a as a feature. It does go straight down into the bathroom, so there's no point having it in the bathroom right next to the shower. But the actual chimney hole itself is going to come in very handy for when we put the kitchen in. We're going to have the extractor pan feeding out into this, which will be really good. That's my little task for today. And James is going to work his way down the stairwell here. Let's see if he can get that sorted out.
Ooh, the finish on there, I think, is pretty good. I managed to go all the way along. The section that you can see that looks drier, that one's been rubbed down. And what I've been using is this insulation foam with some water and it just flattens it out nicely. I learned that on the um, on an earlier house when the guys put an extension on and they were actually rendering it just with cement, which now looking back wasn't a great idea, but the finish wasn't too bad, but they were using that to give it a nice finish. So that's what I've been doing on here. And I realize now that that worked on there, but it isn't something I feel like I need to be doing on this because on this patch here, although it does look patchy, it's only because it's wet and drying, uh, it takes forever to do that with the block. And now looking at it, I think actually I'll get a better finish if I just go over it one last time. So I'm gonna start at that end and just do the whole lot as an experiment and see if that works. Because if it does, it's just gonna save us hours. Oh, but the battery is running really low, so I can't video it. Just have to uh, see it when it's done. Greeted with a really nice sunset. Oh boy, am I glad to get that bit out of the way. And I must admit, doing it the way I've now chosen to do it has taken a lot less time and it's a lot easier on the wrist. Now it's had two top coats on here and I think if I wasn't overly pleased with that, then I would definitely have given it a third. But right now, I think it's looking pretty good. It still needs to dry out, of course, and it's looking a bit patchy. But as far as I can see, looking at it close, it's really good. Tomorrow, if it's not raining, we'll come back and continue with this chimney and see if we can turn that into something. And this area here, and then that should be the whole of the top area sorted out as far as the walls. And uh, James can start thinking about doing this floor. As for this side, yeah, we'll worry about that next week. Anyway, I'm gonna go home now, see the dogs. See you in the morning. Well, we were very fortunate yesterday getting away with the rain but today is a little bit just spitting here or there. And obviously being up on the roof, trying to render the outside, we don't want to take any risks with that. So we'll carry on tomorrow and hopefully we'll get quite a lot more done. In the meantime, I did mention earlier on that I've been practicing with the welder. Up to now, I've just been practicing with scraps of metal. But now I realize there's a little job I can do. So I might as well take this opportunity to do it now. James made this little unit maybe three or four years ago. It was a little prototype when he just set out learning to weld. And you can see here that not bad for a first attempt, obviously, but he wasn't happy with it and decided he would start again and throw this away. But I thought, you know what? I like it like that. And it is an early prototype. So I took it off him, cut up some pallet wood and shoved it in here. But it has been outside for quite a while and it started to look a bit weathered, the wood's warping. But that's okay because the more it goes like that, the more I like it. However, got a little bit of damage down here. Two spots here and there might be one just over there. So I might as well see if I can fix this and get this all oh, back to where it was. We'll see. And uh, luckily, I don't have to do an amazing job. But you can see here with James's new one how much he improved with the welding and how nice it looks as well. But I still really like the rusticness of this. The heavens literally have just opened up in the last minute or two. I heard some thunder really close. So this should be a bit of fun, should not it? Good job we're in a shelter, but with this metal roof, it's kind of loud. We'll see how far we get. Hmm, I wonder.
we're still getting lots of thunder and lightning. It has slowed down a little bit, but while I was doing this, blimey, was it pelting down. The wind was blowing it through that hole up there into the side of the bus. So I've had to quickly move everything out of the way. And everything I've been doing has been more in the middle there. So it's been a bit protected. <laughs> just stopped for a few seconds of the rain. I went up onto the roof just to check out what the clouds are doing. And I noticed the hatch was open on top of the bus, which is directly above my bed. Will's dirty sheet that I put over the top for him to sleep on took all the rainwater and the bed's nice and dry. That was a relief. It's now shut. Anywho, I'm going to carry on with this, just tidy it up a little bit and I'll show you how we got on. Well, I've gone as far as I want to go on this. I don't need to get it any better. I have got a few little holes in there, which ideally I'd like to just get more improvement on. But I'm a little bit flummoxed at the moment. We've had a power cut and I'm glad I was using the Bluetti because now it's coming into its own. I'm going to take it into the kitchen and get the freezer connected to it now. But the storm is directly overhead and we're getting loads and loads of thunder. So I think it's time just to clear up and uh, have a good fresh start tomorrow. I've done what I needed to do and uh, just wait it out. Oh, oh shit. Jesus, that completely, whoa, that was right over there. looking all right. That's my mission for today. Oh, I'll let you see it from a distance, a little tease. I've done the top section now and I'm pretty pleased with it, but I still have to do those little grid holes and the rest of the chimney. And I'm gonna come back to that tomorrow. So once I've done that, I'll show you the whole thing in its entirety. Keep you hanging for a few minutes.
Right, let's see if we can turn this mess into something half decent. One more side to go. Oh, this is taking forever. Fun today. Oh, it's quite satisfying, isn't it? Looking. Well, done a really good job on this side of the wall now, just to go down this side. I think down there will be next. That's tomorrow's job, yeah. Yep, two days that's taken to do. I was hoping one, but had to be done properly. And I'm very happy with the way that that's turned out. Very fiddly in those holes, obviously. Still keeping it a little bit um, full of character now. Didn't want to go too smart with it. And to be honest with you, that would have taken another day if I was going to get it any better. But I really like how that looks. Once it's got paint on it, it'll look pretty good. What does it look like from the back? Right, a bit like icing a cake, that it was quite fun for a while, but I don't want to do it again in a hurry. Need to dash back now, see how the dogs are doing. Well, I was planning on starting this side today. The wall that James did the last couple of days looks really good. This has got a really big indent going in there. It's gonna take a little bit of time and just uh, had a look in the house and we don't have any of the MH19 left or enough to do this wall. And to be honest with you, the sun as it is in October being a bit lower, you can really feel the intensity of that. And yesterday I felt my arms burning. So it's going to do good, I think, to step away for a few days and just stay out of the sun. And we'll come back to this next week. I'm a bit relieved getting that top section done just feels like something we can tick off. And this needs a fresh start. So we'll carry on on Monday. 
I'm going to go back. The Bluetti AC200 Max now, I've owned that for about a month or so. And in that time, I use it every single day. So I can report that I've had no problems with it and it does everything I needed to. I parked it in there now. It is portable, quite heavy, but it is portable. But I need it in there because I want to make sure that this bus is kind of detached from the house. Although this bus is connected to the mains, I don't use anything in here now from that. Everything just gets plugged into the Bluetti now, including the pellet burner, which is very handy. That's low wattage, just the fan really. Uh, but everything I need it to do, it does. I'm getting very addicted to this solar, I have to say. Now, when I moved into this house, probably because of that, I didn't have any electricity or water for a lot of months. So I had to find something. And back then I found this, which is basically a battery with an 80 watt solar panel and an inverter. It's noisy and that battery is super heavy, but I still do use it. And because of that is what got me interested into the uh, Bluetti. This one here now, as you see, just sitting in the background, is a new addition because uh, I wanted something lightweight and portable. And this is an EB3A 600 watt, 268 watt hour little portable device with a little handle on here. It only weighs four and a half kilograms, which is ideal for everything I use it for. And to be honest with you, one of the main reasons that I wanted one of these was because of this the uh, DC cigarette lighter, which basically I use to pump up the paddleboard but it has a c port two usbs you've got a light on there that turns the device on it's at 99 percent at the moment and if i keep pressing it a light comes on goes through various settings and off again two pin down there one plug that's independent on and off but you can also as well charge the phone on top of here and i do that via the app for both of those on the app, you'll see there's a button you press ACDC and just plonk the phone on there and it charges really good. And I actually use that now in the village to charge all my power tools and it's doing a great job. Really, really good. Now, at the moment, it is charging. It's at 99 percent and I have it attached to this 120 watt solar panel, which has got its own little fold out legs. And it does fold up to a very small, very handy stick it in the back of the car like a little portfolio. Luckily, it's at 99% because half of it now is out of the sun. But as I've already mentioned, living in the Algarve over 300 days of sun, it makes complete sense to have these connected to solar panels because that is the game changer. The 350 watt one for the AC200 is a bit bigger, a bit heavier, but does exactly what I want it to do, especially when we have the power cuts and so on. And did I just mention that I did actually run the welder through there? Don't know if I just did or not, but anyway, it worked, which was really good. Now, if you're interested in these, you can go to Bluetti. If you go into the about section, which is if you click on the title below, you'll see um, some links and there's a discount as well. Check them out, game changer, especially in a world where everything's going up in price and no one knows what the hell's going on. Well, I think he's got the right idea, isn't he? Okay, we're into another week now. Next week, new week, fresh start. We'll see how we get on. Our plan is to see slim chance, but there is a chance that we can completely render the whole front of the house and the whole side of the house. James will concentrate on the front. I'll concentrate on the side. And if we can do that, wow, that would be amazing. And it will completely transform the whole feel and look of that house. We shall see. Anyway, have a great weekend and a great week. Hope you can join me next Saturday. Until then, take care. Bye-bye. Oh, forgivable.